organizers for inviting me uh, on such a significant event. I am representing here Azerbaijan Export and Import, uh, Export and Investment uh, Promotion Foundation. So uh, it's my great pleasure to present here a business environment and uh, investment opportunities in Azerbaijan. Uh, last year, our country celebrated uh, 20 years of independence after the collapse of Soviet Union. Uh, despite being a relatively young country, Azerbaijan has gone through the quite substantial economic reforms and became one of the most at attractive destinations for international business. Uh, since uh, mid-90s, we have significantly uh, reinforced our uh, economic potential and established macroeconomic stability. Today, Azerbaijan in, is one of the leading economies globally in respect of economic growth rates. Uh, within only the last 10 years, uh, our real economy grew by more than three times, state budget by 19 times, uh, uh, strategic currency reserves up to 25 times. Uh, this growth was uh, assisted by the economics magazine, which ranked Azerbaijan as the second fastest growing economy in terms of GDP growth rate per capita, away 179 countries in the first decade of this century. Uh, of course, oil and gas sectors played an important role in the development of our economy. But today, uh, diversification of economy and the development of non-oil sector became key strategic goal for our country. And this chart proves that one of the top priority of Azerbaijan is to develop non-oil-related industries. So you can see how the dynamic of the growth of non-oil GDP. Uh, just to promise to say that uh, in the first six of this year, uh, non-oil GDP increased uh, by 11.3%. And today uh, we can say that uh, our economy is the biggest in the South Concord. It accounts for over uh, 70 uh, percent of total region of uh, region GDP. Our achievements uh, observed and appreciated also by international financial institutions and leading international rating agencies. For example, our broad bank named Azerbaijan in doing business report 2009 as the world's leading reformer of business regulations. The international rating agencies like uh, Fitch Rating and Standard and Poor's improved our long-term uh, sovereign credit ratings to BBB minus in 2011. The World Economic Forum in its place, Azerbaijan, 46 in the world and first in the CIS countries in its global competitiveness report. A few words about investment in our economy. Uh, since 1995, was almost 120 billion US bond invested in Azerbaijan. As I already mentioned, uh, key goals of our government is to uh, develop of non-oil sector, and this policy reflected in the volume of investment. As you may see from this chart, uh, for about 60% uh, of the investment were made in non-economic sector. And Azerbaijan now is a leading country in CIS in terms of uh, FDI per capita. In the same time, in the same period, uh, foreign investment account was for about uh, $40 billion. Uh, last year also was successful for us in terms of, in terms of investment attraction. As you can may, uh, see here, most investment also was concentrated in non-oil -econom uh, non economy. We believe that a few major positive factors behind our success in attracting foreign investment. First of all, it is the political and macroeconomic uh, stability. This is the major factors for uh, foreign investors. Political stability and sustainable economic development over the last 15 years, together with traditional Azerbaijan hospitality, make our country a very attractive investment destination. This fact is confirmed by Global Competitive Report, report of the World Economic Forum in which uh, political uh, instability risks in Azerbaijan are equal to zero, and the macroeconomic environment uh, was ranked 18 uh, among 144 countries. So let's have a look on our uh, advantages in investment promotion. Uh, Azerbaijan has favorable location on the crossroads of Eurasia, serving as a natural bridge between Asia and Europe 
providing easy access to the market, such as Europe, Central Asia, and Middle East. Historically located on the Great Silk Road, Azerbaijan has attracted millions of travelers and traders. Of course, abundant resources is not only about oil and gas. Rich climatic uh, resources with nine climatic uh, zones make it attractive for those who would like to invest in uh, agriculture and tourism. We have rich resources of construction materials, uh, ferrous and non-ferrous materials, and all of them not far from the production site. A rapidly developing transport infrastructure is one of the fundamental factors for investing in Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan has the biggest international sea trade port in the Caspian region and the biggest international airport in South Caucasus, which have uh, direct flights to major European and Asian cities. At present, uh, six international airports operate in Azerbaijan, and additional uh, terminal is being constructed at Baku International Airport, which will certainly improve air transportation in the region. Another one issue is the uh, uh, railway infrastructure. Baku Tbilisi Cross uh, Railway uh, Line, so-called Iron Silkway, will provide not only uh, will not only improve trade and economic relation between Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Turkey, but also will connect European and Asian railroads, which will happen for the first time ever. All these ongoing uh, infrastructure projects uh, will turn Azerbaijan into uh, logistic hubs of the region in the near future. Let's have a look uh, on uh, key sectors uh, that could be, uh, for, have wide investment opportunities. First of all, it's uh, agriculture and uh, food industry. Agriculture is a traditional field of economy. We, have, we produce a huge variety of uh, agricultural products and one of the uh, major exporters of agri uh, products to CIS markets. Uh, food processing uh, makes up 34% uh, of manufacturing industry. Another one sector is alternative and uh, renewable energy. As you may know, Azerbaijan is a country of fire, but we also pay much attention to the development of alternative and renewable energy that has huge potential in our country. For example, I'd like to give you some figures. Uh, we have 3,200 sunny hours a year and uh, 250 windy days with average uh, wind speed of 8 meters per second. Uh, one of the interesting projects in this field was recently implemented in Azerbaijan. It is uh, a construction of hybrid power plants for use of various alternative energy resources. It, this plant was put on operation in 2010. Another sector is tourism. It is another important and very promising part of our economy. In 2011 was declared by our president as, as year of tourism, and we started a lot of new projects and reforms uh, in this field. As a result, uh, we uh, constructed five uh, new five stars brand hotels in Baku and uh, realized, realized a lot of uh, projects in uh, regions. Telecommunication is also one of the fastest growing non oil sector. We are now in process of establishing uh, space industry and we will soon uh, launch our first satellite. At the same time, industry is the largest sector of our economy. It accounts uh, for about 53% uh, of GDP, and this sector is a, uh, has a, is a major recipient of foreign investment. And the most important industry uh, in, is being developed in this field is the chemical industry, machinery, light industry, and waste management. management. Also, there are great opportunities for establishing high technology based chemical industry. Uh, exactly for this purpose, a uh, new chemical industrial park was recently established. So, a uh, few words about my organization. Azerbaijan uh, Export and Investment Promotion uh, Foundation was established in 2003 by the Minister of Economic Development of Azerbaijan, with a primary mission to sustain economic growth by expanding the flow of FDI in non-oil sector and stimulating expansion of country's export capacity. Our organization playing a role of a bridge between public and private sectors in cause of development of business environment. Uh, investment promotion as I told, is one of our uh, main areas of activity. Among other activities, we provide wide range of free services to foreign investment investors, starting with information support on all aspects of doing business in Azerbaijan, 
finding local partners, offering uh, projects, organizing site visits, helping with getting established and operational, so on. Another field of activity is expert promotion. Uh, we provide free services and assistance to our exporters, feed them with necessary information on uh, potential markets and their products, help, help them with finding uh, new customers and marketing their products abroad. Uh, also, as promo, pay much attention uh, for development or cooperation with the similar institution in other countries, and for also network networking. We have representatives in the offices in several countries. For example, in Georgia, Austria, Germany, United States, United Kingdom, Switzerland, Turkey, Romania, Ukraine, and Kazakhstan. At the same time, as promo is a member of World Association of Investment Promotion Agencies (WIPO) which I'm also representing today, and uh, as promised, director of VIPA for Central Asia and South Caucasus. Uh, as as promised, I signed a memorandum of understanding with different chambers, associations, and agencies from uh, 29 countries, as well from Europe, Asia, and CIS. Uh, let me say a couple of words about the VIPA, uh, World Association of uh, Investment Promoting Agency. Uh, this uh, organization was created in uh, 1995. It is de facto international organization, but was established as a non-profit organization under the Swiss law. Head office of WIPA is in Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, um, uh, WIPA's members include appro approximately 180 national and sub-national agencies from over 160 different countries. So what's the... Uh, main uh, aims of WIPA. Main uh, aims of WIPA is to promote and to develop understanding and cooperation among members, to strengthen information gathering and exchanging of information, to share experience in attracting of investments, to assist members to gain access to, to uh, technical assistance and training, to facilitate uh, access to funding through international agencies, companies or associations for the development and implementation of investment promotion programs. VIPA, uh, using it as its non-governmental st status, uh, interfere between investment promoting agencies and governments, and between, uh, between the, uh, this government and private sectors. VIPA is dedicated to help uh, investment promotion agencies and their governments enhance their FDI levels through the following activities providing training, organizing, organization uh, of information gathering and dissemination of information, uh, and also exchanging of best practice, providing advocacy for investment uh, promoting agencies. Uh, this is all information. Uh, for more detailed information, please don't hesitate to contact us. I would like to wish good luck to all participants and to have a good results of uh, our discussion. Thank you for attention. Thank you.